Hello and welcome. My name is Babs and this is Benny and this is my channel Balance with Babs. Today's lymph flow yoga practice is for everybody. We're going to focus on improving lymph flow and lymph drainage in the breast, chest, armpit, shoulder, neck area. So this is a great one if you've had trauma to the lymphatics in this area or if you feel a little tightness to your shoulder. So get in something comfortable and come and meet me on your mat, on your chair, edge of the bed, wherever you're comfortable. Okay, so when we think about lymphatic drainage, it's a one-way path back towards the heart. So when we think about the breast, the chest area, it's a little bit um, funky in this area. So the lymph vessels that carry the fluid, so these little rivers that carry the fluid, go to the closest lymph node. So in your body, you have around 700 or so lymph nodes. A majority is around your neck and your chest area, but there's lymph nodes above and below your clavicle. There's lymph nodes along your neck. There's lymph nodes down your sternum, in your armpit, in the inner elbow. So if you think about the breast, and it's okay if you've had a lumpectomy, a mastectomy, reconstruction, whatever it may be, you can still help to improve the lymph drainage because that's right underneath the skin. So you still have lymph movement, even if you don't even have a breast in this area, you still have fluid movement in this area. So if you think about the breast, almost think of like a, you know those beautiful fireworks that go off and they go off in all different directions? That's kind of what the little lymph vessels do in the breast. So they kind of boing, 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 go all different directions to find the closest lymph node. So it's almost like if you think of a clock, this section might come up here to 12 o'clock, this section might come up over here to the armpit, this section might come over here to the chest. And there's research lately, a couple of years ago, they did a study to see where that fluid is actually moving to. And even if you've had lymph nodes removed in this armpit, so I know my mom's had many lymph nodes removed, a few other people in this group have had lymph nodes removed. Even, so typically in your armpit, you have around like 30 to 40, depending on the person, right? Someone much larger, like um, a huge person might have more lymph nodes than maybe a really tiny person, right? But there's a range of lymph nodes. And even though some of those lymph nodes have been removed, the other lymph nodes are going to pick up the slack and pick up the pace. So if you are experiencing lymphedema in the armpit and the um, kind of lateral breast area, you feel like a balloon kind of underneath the armpit, my kind of philosophy or what I teach my patients or my participants is to move that fluid away from the area. So even though some of that fluid, again, think of that fireworks, that some of that fluid is going to drain towards the armpit and then get filtered back up. But if you're experiencing thickness or swelling or discomfort or tenderness, I'm just gonna have you pull that fluid away. So I just wanna kind of make that distinction because there is research saying that like if you cut the breast in half, that fluid technically is still going there. But if there's already an area or already disruption there, I'm just going to have you kind of bring it over. So any questions about that before we begin? Feel okay? All right, good. So we're going to begin with our warm-up routine. And this is the same warm-up routine we would do for any part of the body with lymphedema. <clears throat> so we're going to take our hands across our chest. Ideally, you want to have skin-to-skin -skin contact. So you want to go underneath so that your palms are flat on the skin or you can do this one hand at a time. So my hand is right on top of my collarbone so that my index is kind of right on the nook of my neck right there. And then you're going to, I'm gonna go on top so you can see me, you're gonna gently stretch the skin in towards the neck. So almost like a little bit of a pumping sensation right in that area. So there's ducts right behind these clavicles that re-enter into the bloodstream. So if we wake this area up first, then all the rest of the little, little vessels are like, okay, now I know where to go. So we're gonna pump this area about five to 10 times. And then the other side. So this is the step one always, is starting right here. Good. 
And then we're gonna place either the heels of our hands together, hands to the sides of the neck, or you can place your hands like this cross, whatever feels better in your shoulders. And then you're gonna stretch the skin back and then down. So almost creating like a backwards C kind of coming down. And this is just igniting some of those lymph nodes on the neck because some of this fluid will kind of creep up and get filtered all through here. Nice. You can also do this one hand at a time too. You're just kind of pumping, stretching the skin. The pressure is very light. Good, and then come to the other side. And then something I love to do that I think feels so good is we're gonna place our thumb and our index and then just gently draw the fluid down. You might feel the urge to swallow here. Just breathing here. You might notice a little bit of lightness through the face and the jaw. Wonderful, good. And then we'll place our hand right at our sternum area and we're just gonna create some circular pumps here. So it doesn't really matter the direction, but you're just stimulating these lymph nodes that kind of run right along the breastbone. And if it's tender, just go easy. Try to get your hand nice and flat. And again, ideally you'd have skin to skin contact, but YouTube probably won't let me go naked on the screen. <laughs> so we'll, for now we'll wear this. <laughs> Good, okay. So now we're gonna take our fingers, imagine like you're playing the piano, and we're gonna take our fingers along the sternum, kind of coming up and down. And then find kind of the, the rib cage. So this, what you're feeling right now is the ribs kind of expanding from this area. So you can take your fingers kind of in between the ribs and then just do kind of like a little pulsing, a little kneading. And this is again, just to wake up those lymph nodes so that they're ready to, take on more fluid. Good. So that's the basic warm up so far is the neck, the chest, the sternum. Now we're going to get into both armpits. So you're going to take your hand, you can have your hand up on your head like this, or you can have your hand down on your lap, whatever is more comfortable. And you're going to take your hand nice and flat. So palm to your axilla, your armpit, and you're going to pump kind of down and in towards the breast. So creating kind of this pumping like motion. And again, you can have your arm down, but try to get the hand really nice and flat and get a lot of surface area. And you can move around a little bit too. And this is a little bit deeper because you're going in there and really trying to kind of pump and knead the skin. Nice job. If you have some tightness in your um, tendon here, in your pec muscle. You can also do a little bit of squeezing, a little gentle kind of mobilization there. Just a little bit of pumping, good. And then you can come to the other side. So about five to 10 of these kind of pumping, pulsing like movements will help to activate the lymph nodes here. And even again, if you've had lymph nodes removed, this will still help to activate them. And even if you have lower body lymphedema or abdominal or whatever it may be, this will help to get everything moving. Good, and then relax your hands down in your lap for a moment, sit up nice and tall, and we'll take a slow breath in through the nose. And then exhale, let it out. <sighs> Breathe in and out. And then we'll do both breasts, but we'll start with the right. I'm gonna mirror you, so um, you can all do it on this side. So we're first going to start to move the fluid in, if you were to place like a line right down the center of the breast, we're gonna move this fluid over first. So it depends on how your shoulders and how your body feels, but you can either take your right hand and just pump like this, you can have the hand going this way, or you can have the hand coming this way, or you can take the other hand and just pump. So you're, imagine this line, you're just drawing the fluid, pumping it towards the sternum. If this is the side that has lymphedema and has disruption, then you can bring that fluid kind of all the way over. If this side is the one that has a disruption, just bring this fluid kind of just to the sternum. 
So again, just kind of stretching the skin, pumping. And then the second half of the breast down here, if this is the side that has not had lymph nodes, you're gonna take your hand and then just pump kind of up towards the armpit like this. But if this is the side that has had lymph nodes and has lymphedema, then you're gonna pump it over. So again, if you have swelling in this area, my philosophy or the way I've been doing things is just move that fluid away. So get that fluid out, reduce the overwhelming of that area, and you're just kind of pumping, you're kind of cupping the area. And again, this is okay if, you, if you've had reconstruction and you're within um, your, without restrictions of movement. So you're just kind of pumping over across and you can go all the way over. Now, if you have excess fluid around this area, you can take your hand onto the side and do little pumps, kind of like little half rainbows coming all the way up into the armpit here. And you can follow it all the way up. So maybe doing that a couple times, just draining that fluid. If this area has some swelling, you can drain it back down, but they're finding lately that the fluid isn't actually going down. It's more so coming up here, even if lymph nodes have been removed. Good. And honestly, you moving, stimulating the fluid in this area is going to stir it up. So stretching the skin is going to help to improve the flow. So now we'll go to the other side. So again, we'll start um, with the section of the chest or breast closest to the sternum. You can use one hand like this and kind of pump across, pump across pump across, good, it's a few times. If you feel some swelling kind of underneath the breast or kind of this inferior portion, that often happens because gravity is pulling down, so it's kind of collecting the fluid, so you can just pump all through here, maybe switch the hands. Essentially, you're just moving that fluid towards the closest lymph node. So again, the lymph nodes are along here, here, and the armpits. And then this section of the breast, you can kind of pull up and into the armpits. You can lift your arm up, moving it up. This section on the side, you can gently pump it up towards the armpit. Good. And then if this is the side that's affected, you can start to bring that fluid all the way across or up. Good. And then relax the hands down. Close your eyes for a moment. Notice if you feel any difference. Maybe start to just soften your face a little bit. Breathing in and out. And now that we've got all these lymph vessels pumping the fluid, all the lymph nodes are activating and moving, now we're gonna engage in a heart opening lymph flow yoga practice to help to move the fluid a little bit more. So we'll begin and you can take a comfortable seat either on your mat or stay in your chair and then we'll begin. So we'll take a moment just to settle in, placing the hands onto the lap and we'll begin with some breathing techniques just to encourage some central lymph flow. So relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your face. See if you can just settle down into the hips and let everything just soften. And then for a moment, we're going to just open up and release some tension. So we're gonna take our hands, find the bottom of the rib cage, and we're just going to gently massage the bottom of the rib cage. If we can open up this area a little bit more, then as we breathe and take some deep breaths, the rib cage can expand a little bit more, setting us up for success. So notice if there's any tension here along the rib cage, just releasing, just massaging, loosening a little bit of the muscle tension in this area. Good. And then rest the hands back down. Palms facing up for a moment just to get a little bit of external rotation into the shoulders. 
and then we'll place our left hand right underneath the right ribs and we're going to create about five to ten pumps so circles here just massaging really good for digestion good for any abdominal swelling and then we'll come to the other side so just pumping in towards the belly button it really doesn't necessarily matter too much the direction you go good and then place the thumbs together and then the index fingers the tips of the fingers almost like you're making a, a diamond shape and then place that right to the center of your belly so that your belly button is in between the diamond sit up nice and tall benny you're blocking my diamond <laughs> and then inhale slowly blow the air through the belly in between the diamond and then exhale blow the air out through the mouth inhale the belly expands into the hands breathe in and then exhale blow the air out take this three more times at your own pace relax the shoulders breathe in and exhale breathe in and exhale this last one as you breathe in give a little bit of resistance if you haven't already and then exhale soft and let your arms relax good we're going to place the palms down draw the shoulders up towards the ears back and down inhale lifting exhale drawing back and down and as you're doing this Feel the shoulder blades squeezing together. So you have lymph nodes along the spine. So when we do this, we squeeze those shoulder blades. It helps to propel some of that fluid from the armpit region. Nice. And then we're going to swim the arms with this. So the shoulders come up, back, and around, and move through like you're swimming. Every time we move the shoulders, the breast tissue, the skin of the breast is going to move. Nice job, everyone. Breathing in and out. And then relax the hands down. Sit up nice and tall. Take a breath in. Blow the air out. Let it go. <sighs> Another breath in. Exhale, let it go. <sighs> And then we're going to inhale, reach those arms up towards the sky. And then slowly bring the hands behind your head. And then bring interlace the hands, let the thumbs come by your neck. If this is not um, accessible today, you can always just kind of hold on to the neck area here. Whatever feels best for you. Breathe in here, let your head rest into the hands. And then slowly bring the elbows forward as you hug the low belly in round through the spine and then inhale you're going to open up like wings stretch open beautiful and then exhale slowly coming in take three more at your own pace inhale open exhale contract breathe in spread and open the heart Nice job, exhale in, last one, breathe in to open, exhale, contract, and then open up, hi Benny, and then release the hands all the way down, soften the shoulders, soften your face, take a moment to pause, notice your breathing pattern, notice how your shoulders might feel. And then elbows into the side ribs, palms facing up. We're going to inhale, open up through the arms so you can really pull the shoulder blades down and back. And then exhale, draw the pinkies together. Inhale, opening up. Exhale, slowly coming back. One more. Inhale, open. And then exhale, coming back release the arms down we're going to take our left hand across the body to our right knee and then inhale lift that right arm up exhale slow side bend here you can look up at that arm wiggle that those fingers the wrists 
Notice the stretch through the rib cage. You can take that hand behind the head for a little bit extra stretch here. Take two more breaths. And then gently roll that wrist, let it melt all the way down. Hands to the thighs. We'll take a cat and cow just to reset. So inhale, draw your chin and your chest forward. And then exhale, round through. We'll do a few more of these. So if you're seated in the chair, open up your legs wide so you can bring your torso through. And then exhale, round, look down at your belly. Breathing in, rocking on the pelvis, opening up, spreading, nice. Exhale, round one more time. Inhale, pulling yourself forward. Exhale. And then inhale, reach those arms all the way up. Exhale, hands come down through heart center. Right hand is going to come to the left thigh. Left arm sweeps up. And then gentle side bend here, taking four breaths. So take this to wherever you'd like. So you can bring the hand behind the head. You can touch the shoulder, whatever feels best for you. Two more breaths. Notice if you can maybe ignite energy through the fingertips as you stretch. Awesome. Breathing in. And then exhale, roll the wrist down and melt down. Good. We're going to take some abdominal circles just to get a little bit deeper into the hips and the torso. So if you're seated in a chair, keep the legs wide, hands to the thighs. We're going to draw our body over our right thigh, center, left thigh, and back and around. I'm going to give an option for those of you on the earth, on the ground to come into all fours to do this. And what you can do is rock your body towards the left wrist, center, right wrist, and back and around. We'll take five in one direction and then five in the other. So if you'd prefer to be on all fours, that's totally fine. Let your head melt, let your face relax, and just notice the hips, the shoulders, the head. And then we'll reverse that circle if you haven't already. Maybe take some time just to get the neck and head involved. Just releasing tension from the tip of the head all the way down to the base of the skull, base of the spine. Moving with your breath. Awesome, and then coming back to center, we're going to come back into a seated position. And if you're in the chair, you're gonna extend your legs long. And if you're on the earth, you're gonna extend your legs long. So everyone will extend their legs. If you're in a chair, scooch your way, scooch your bottom to the edge of your chair so that you can find the length of the legs. If you're on the earth, flex the feet back towards your face. Then we're gonna inhale, reach the arms up here. And then exhale, bring the hands by your side. So onto the chair or onto the earth. Tent the fingertips so you can grow tall through the spine here. Breathing in and out. And then we'll bring our hands to our thighs. And then we're gonna to inhale to find length. Exhale, slowly glide down one side. And as you do this, you can draw the other hand up the body. And then as you come up, you're going to reverse. So giving a little bit of a stretch for the shoulders, for the legs. You can just slide down one and then the other. If you're in the chair, you can always bend the knees if the legs are uncomfortable. And then when you get a little bit into this, then you can start to slide on one leg and then reach the arm up and over. And then come to the other side. So just coming in and out of this, going to whatever degree feels good. Awesome. 
One more time on each side. And then bringing the legs together. Bring, we'll inhale, reach the arms up. And we're gonna do this in three parts. So flex the toes back towards your face. Inhale to find length. Exhale, we're gonna slowly come up a third of the way down. Nice. Inhale, lift back up, stretch up. Exhale, about two thirds of the way down. Awesome. Inhale, lift all the way back up. And then exhale, slowly coming down. You can keep the knees bent if you'd like. And then just melt your heart down. Grab a hold of whatever you can. It's totally fine if you're just hands on the thigh and you keep a nice flat back. But just notice the stretch throughout the back of the legs, letting your shoulders and your heart relax. Taking a few more breaths here, just turning your intention and your attention inward. One more breath in. And then rise up with beautiful energy. Lift the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands come down to heart center. Awesome. We'll re-bend our legs, bring the legs back in together. If you're on the earth, hands into the lap and we'll end our practice with a spinal twist together. So we'll inhale, reach our arms up. Exhale, twisting towards the right. Take three breaths here, three mindful breaths. As you inhale, feel the spine lengthen. And as you exhale, feel the torso twist, looking over that shoulder, if that feels okay in the neck. One more breath in. And out. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, roll the wrists all the way down. Drop the hands, drop the chin towards the chest. And we'll take a nice slow neck circle in one direction. And then bob kind of back and forth here. Chin just painting the chest. And then you can take a neck circle in the other direction. And then inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, twisting to the left. Three breaths here. And then lifting the arms, stretching all the way up. Hands come down to your heart center. Thumbs connect with your heart space. Give yourself a little circular movement, a little massage here. And then releasing the hands down, closing your eyes, allowing your body to feel all the benefits of your movement practice. Setting yourself up for balanced energy for the rest of the day, the rest of the night. And then we'll see if we can take a slow breath in through the nose. Exhale, let it out. <sighs> Slow breath in and out. One more like that. Big breath in and out. And then we'll reach our arms up together for the last time today. 
hands come down to heart center and we can bow to one another to share our gratitude for one another. Thank you all so much for being here and I will see you next week.